Hey guys, it's Monday, and so that means this is Josh Video Day. Just in case you don't know who I am, I'm Josh. I'm Robert Crosby on Tumblr. I'm Joshy Crosby on Twitter. Um, you met David. He's really great. He marched Spirit of Atlanta. I marched Teal Sound 2009, 2010, 2011. I marched Cavaliers in 2012. Get it? It's bluey. And I marched Paradigm Winter Guard, River City Winter Guard. Gainesville Independent Winter Guard, and now I march with an individual Winter Guard. I had a drum corps in 2012. It was the best thing of my life. I'm sad that it's gone, but I have lots and lots of knowledge to help you with things. So, here we go. So, all last week we asked people what they wanted to talk about this week, and today I'm going to talk about Color Guard Auditions, and what that entails, and then I'm also going to talk a little bit about fundraising. So, first, Color Guard Auditions. Color Guard Auditions usually contain three things. You have your dance class, your weapon class, and then your flag class. Not usually, but they don't make everyone audition on weapon. But even if you're not very good, you should just because you can only show them your versatility. And if you show them that you're versatile and are willing to try anything, they're more likely to give you a spot, especially if in high number cores they want to see what you can do. Um, as far as dance basics go, just if I were you, I would try and I would get in a dance class as soon as possible just because one, it's, it's fun, and two, it'll only make your technique better, and technique is key. Number two, um, flag combos can range, we usually do two just because we want to see like a fast one that's very technical and then a slow, lyrical, very pretty ballad type one just to see what you can do and how well you fare at each audition. A lot of people think that fundraising is really difficult, but it's actually really easy if you just buckle down and say, okay, I need the money to do this. The first thing you should do is try and get as many corporate sponsorships as possible. If you go around to banks and small attorney firms, they usually have no problem helping someone out with artistic things like drum corps. Also, another place to do is Walmart or Kmart or Target. Those are also really good places to try. And any small local business, just, I mean, tell them. Five dollars helps. It really does. Another thing you can do is if your core doesn't offer very many fundraisers or their fundraisers are local to their area of home, like Rosemont or Atlanta or Jacksonville, you can fundraise on your own and sell candy bars or have a bake sale or even have a car wash. I know a girl in 2010 who paid all of her dues in $1 bills because she sold 3,000 candy bars. She was adamant and determined and she got her job done and that's really what I have to say about fundraising. It's really simple. Don't be afraid to go door to door. You're old enough now. So I just wanted to tell you guys a few fun things about me. I'm 21. I teach high school color garden dance. Covered up the camera with my hand because I'm on my iPad, and that's why the quality of this video is garbage. But I promise when I get back home, it will be better. I currently live in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm right now in Star City, Arkansas. I promise you've never heard of it. If you have, please tell me. Um, I teach band all over the country. I do a lot of band. Lots and lots of band. I've been in color guard since I was 15, which was 2007. This winter is my 11th performing season, and will be my 20th season overall, counting the seasons that I've performed in and worked out. Alright, so hey, hope you had a good Monday. We'll see David tomorrow on Tuesday. Bye!